What is stress? Stress is a sensation the body uses to apply psychological pressure to a person faced with adversity. For instance, a person facing an important test may feel stressed because they subconsciously know that they have to do well. Contrary to popular belief, stress is not actually a bad thing. It can help you study, prepare you for an event, or even be that nagging feeling that reminds you of a forgotten assignment. People often think of stress as the chaotic feeling that tortures you before something you're nervous about, but there are actually several types of stress, each with different effects on the body and the mind. There are different types of stress. Acute stress is the most common form of stress. It lasts for a short period of time and can be exciting if it does not last too long. Too much of it can wear you out and cause health problems. Common effects of acute stress include emotional distress, headaches, muscle tension, stomach problems, increased heartbeat, and sweaty palms. The next level of stress is episodic acute stress. This is when a person has so much acute stress in their life that it makes them constantly nervous, anxious, and worried. People with episodic acute stress often have a lot of nervous energy, and it seems like they are very busy and barely keeping their lives together. Symptoms of episodic acute stress include persistent tension headaches, migraines, hypertension, chest pain, and even heart disease. The most severe kind of stress is chronic stress. Chronic stress is the long-term stress that comes from serious life problems, such as poverty, war, dysfunctional families, depression, or traumatic experiences. It can make you feel like there is no escape from a miserable situation. Chronic stress can last for many years or even a lifetime. It can cause many health problems such as anxiety, depression, social isolation, headache, abdominal pain, lack of sleep, back pain, hemorrhoids, difficulty concentrating, hypertension, varicose veins, panic attacks or a panic disorder, and cardiovascular diseases. Chronic stress can even cause death by suicide, heart attacks, violence, other chronic ailments, and more. Homework. Often students find themselves buried underneath piles of homework that teachers assign. According to Dennis Pope, a lecturer at Stanford University, 56% of students considered homework as a primary stressor. Less than 1% said homework was not a stressor. Pope argues that homework should be meaningful, beneficial, and cultivate learning. Peer pressure. Many teens want to fit in with their friends or a certain crowd. Oftentimes, an individual will be pressured by their peers who are all doing the same thing. Sometimes this can be harmful, such as when it involves substance abuse, such as nicotine or alcohol. Peer pressure can have varying degrees of effectiveness depending on the person in question, and it can often be reduced by sticking with friends that know you and know what is good for you. Oftentimes, teens will have overbearing or overprotective parents that will not let them do anything but school. Some teens get stressed out because they cannot live up to their parents' standards and feel rejected. Teens can also be stressed by the stress of their parents. According to a study by the American Psychological Association, 86% of teens felt the effect of their parents' stress. Many teens struggle maintaining relationships. There are also some that have trouble starting them. Teens will often get through school without getting involved in any extracurriculars just because they do not want to attempt to start new relationships. There's also a lot of pressure to have a thriving social life, and this can be very stressful. Grades. A student's intelligence is often judged by their GPA, and while this is certainly not a fair way to evaluate people, it is often a large part of people's views towards others. Colleges look at grades when deciding who to accept, and they can shape the rest of your life. One aspect of life, having so much influence can be extremely stressful, especially when you don't really understand what you're learning. The future is a scary place, and even more so for teenagers. We have our whole lives ahead of us, and so the effort put into keeping our futures bright can cause a lot of stress. Things like college, careers, marriage, and the rest of it can be simply terrifying. Personally, I find the best way to avoid unnecessary stress from things like careers is simply to think of what you're going to do next. Judgment. In a world filled with social media, stereotypes, and other people, probably the single most stressful part of life is facing other people's judgments. Judgment can come from appearance, grades, wealth, and much more. The stress of being the way other people want to see you can be enormous, especially when you have an especially flawless reputation to uphold, or an especially flawed one to fix. Teachers. In a world where students are judged by their grades, teachers have a lot of power. Some teachers are better than others, and bad teachers can make learning very hard and stressful. Many teachers put a lot of pressure on their students to get good grades and to be the best in, cl in the class. Sometimes this pressure can affect students severely, especially if they are already struggling with their grades. A typical student-athlete often lives a very stressful life. 
Not only do they have pressures to do well in school, there is also a lot of pressure to perform well in games and practice. They have to consistently play well in order to stay on the team. Sometimes they are required to have good grades in order to stay on the team. Sports can also be very time consuming, and this makes it hard to stay on top of schoolwork and other aspects of life. Money. Money is a significant factor in everyone's life. It determines where you can go to school, where you can live, what you can eat, and so, so much more. Obviously, some people have more money than others, but the desire to have more is pretty universal. The stress created as a result of financial issues differs per case, and so do the solutions to the stress. For one thing, this kind of stress can't always be dealt with easily. You can't just relax and let the problem slip away. A calm, collected, strategic approach to finances is often necessary, but even then, something as necessary to survival as this will always cause problems. Personal appearance in terms of looks, behaviors, reputation, and other aspects is very important to most teens. We live in a society where others are judged based on appearance and first impressions, and it is often very important to look at the part. Many teens also want to physically blend in with the crowd in order to fit in socially. While stress can be harmful and hard to deal with, there are ways of coping with it. One of your body's least favorite things is irregularity. We are creatures of habit, and things as seemingly unimportant as staying up late can wreak havoc on our emotional stability. Therefore, one of the most helpful things to do about stress is maintain a regular sleeping schedule. Additionally, exercise and healthy eating can stabilize mental health. Sometimes we stress about things that are simply out of our control. Another helpful thing to practice for a more stress-free life is relaxation. When there are things we cannot change, sometimes the best thing to do is take a deep breath, sit back, and relax for a bit. When you can't just sit still, though, a helpful thing to do is organization. Life is crazy and confusing, and getting it all sorted out can be difficult. Simply writing down what you can about your life can help a lot.